Okay guys, we are back with a new photo shoot and today we will compare the Sony a6700 and the Sony a7 III. You can see both are entirely different in size. So I have the Sony a7 III now for over a year now. This camera has also never let me down. This one is my new camera, the Sony a6700, so it will be interesting to see the difference in quality. So yeah, we will now start the photo shoot, show you examples, and yes, let's begin. When I got close, my heart was pumping to the beat that was blasting through the night. And on the street, the crowd was jumping, singing songs and dancing through the night. Okay friends, yeah, it started to rain, you can see it's so much raining now, so we have to like go to a different location now. This is the only spot we found, so we will now do the final portraits with the background, so it will be a bit more low light, but I think it will be good because yeah, we have a couple of outfits left, so let's see how that goes, and yes, we will now show you the final portraits. Okay friends, yeah, we are now in the car. You can see it's so wet. Even my steering wheel is so wet. Um, yeah, we finished now and yeah, we wanted to, I'm so exhausted actually. <laughs> uh, we wanted to let you know our opinion on both cameras and also compare both. So here again, you can see, uh, yeah, the Sony a7 III and <laughs> the Sony a7 III and the Sony a6700. Yeah, both cameras are great, especially uh, the Sony a7 III is my favorite lens ever, I mean, favorite camera ever. You can see I'm always so exhausted, but yeah, it's my favorite camera ever. It's great with the Sigma 85mm. It's also a great combination because the Sigma is extremely sharp and the autofocus on the Sony a7 III is also good. So it's a great combination. It never lets me down especially if i do like real big projects where i where i haven't done reading so far but i think you know what i mean um where you need both sd card slots uh autofocus is great everything is pretty good on the camera and i even have to say i still liked uh, the portraits a bit more on the sony a7 III. here uh the over camera uh which is the red one here is my sony a6700 I think a real YouTuber would say like, it's great, it's the best camera, you should get it, you should always uh, go for the latest, but uh, I didn't really, well, to start with the positive, it is really nice, um, the build quality, you can see, it looks good, it, the quality is also insane if you look at it, um, it's really good, the autofocus is crazy, I uh, love, love the autofocus, it's also 26 megapixels, which is also good. Uh, but it didn't really flash me. Uh, the Sony A6000, the Sony A6400, 
and the other Sony APC cameras I used were very, very similar. So uh, you have to think twice if you want to pay so much money on the Sony A6700. I think it's, uh, I don't really know, I think it's worth to get more of the Sony A6400 and then get a great prime lens with the, uh, with the money. For example, the Sigma 56 millimeter. That's a good decision. Um, but if you have a lot of money, then I would just go for it. But even the A6000 can uh, compete with the Sony A6700, A6 in my opinion. Uh, it's not the best autofocus, the Sony A6000, but the quality is very, very similar. So that's my opinion. Between these two cameras, I would definitely go for the Sony A7 III. Full frame is insane. I love full frame. But I, uh, yeah, like I said, I do a lot of APS-C stuff. So still, in my opinion, um, I would definitely keep Sony APS-C as well. So both are good. You can see them. And yeah, big thank you to Naomi again. Yes, we will now drive home. And guys, what is your opinion on both cameras? Let me know in the comments down below. And yes, we will now go and yeah, see you guys. Take care. And yeah, see you in the in the next video. Bye. I can't believe we're dancing in the street.